women are losing their jobs as woke companies go broke. So, I mean, it's kind of one of those I told you so. We've seen what's been happening with Bud Light. Evidently, Doritos is hurting now. And other companies that have gone down this, you know, this rabbit hole, they're basically seeing what happens. Planet Fitness and stock has crashed as a result of them going woke. Well, here's another one for you. Woke drama leads Nike to lay off 1,600 employees, guys. That is a massive number of people that, that got laid off. And most of these people are, of course, going to end up being supporting staff. These are jobs and roles that are predominantly filled by women, right? So, and of course, and you know, what they love to cut immediately are is like marketing and HR. So, yeah, these women, they're losing their jobs. It's, it's, I'm not crying. Woke drama has led to the layoff of 1,600 employees. Companies undergo restructuring all the time. It's a common practice in modern business and is often a necessity. When it comes to keeping up with the economy and the stock market, unfortunately, restructuring often includes layoffs of loyal employees, which can not only impact customer service quality, but also the morale of the company. So, guys, we are in a 100% recession, just to make that clear. So, we're in a, it's a struggling economic situation. Unfortunately for workers, the economy is struggling to provide jobs for thousands of potential employees that are currently looking for a job. Employment has stayed at historically low levels for eight months. It's historically high, but of course they changed the way that they measure unemployment and how they define recessions. So it makes it look like we have low unemployment and, and a recession is essentially impossible, which is ridiculous. And it's impacting many people's job searches. This is a surprising pattern in the wake of the events of 2020 or post-2020, many economists predicted high unemployment from the events of 2020 to continue after the country started to recover in anticipation of a recession. Neither of those projected factors have happened, though. Yeah, because they covered it up. They've covered it up. And as a result of it, the economy cannot work itself out properly. You have to remember that recessions are not a bad thing. They're not always a bad thing. They help to rebalance and reset things. High inflation, low unemployment. Instead of high unemployment, the country has seen new jobs created every month and unemployment remaining low. For a while, it was a job searcher's market as there were more jobs being listed and filled than their, than their employees to fill them. This obligated potential employers to start raising wages in order to be more appealing to job searchers. This in part is what has caused the significant inflation that Americans had been dealing with for the last several years. More money in the economy, unfortunately, is one of the primary driving factors behind high inflation. That's absolute crap. It's because of all the funny money that was printed over the years. And low unemployment has had a hand in keeping inflation as high as it has been for so long. That's BS, guys. Let me make this very clear. Deflation is a bad thing. Even if we were to have a massive recession right now, don't expect prices to suddenly collapse, okay? What would end up happening is that you would see inflation rising slower. So you would still be paying uh, nine, nine bucks for a Big Mac or $18 for a Big, for, for a Big Mac fries and a Coke. That would still be the reality. And not only would it be the reality, the price would still be going up from $18 to $19. The only difference is that it'd go from 18 to 19 and not an 18 to 21. Because like, so basically the rate of inflation would slow down but we would not experience deflation where the prices go down. These high, high prices are here to stay forever. The only hope is that the economy would, you know, wages would rise fast enough to offset the to offset inflation. But during a recession, wages don't go up. Wages go down during an inflation. So everyone would be feeling it. And we are we're already feeling it because we, we've been in a we've been in a recession. We've been in a recession for years now. For years now. So let's see here. The cost burden on companies. Efforts to cut inflation have resulted in a significant cost burden on companies as the Fed has raised interest rates and kept them high in order to stamp down on costs to everyday Americans. Unfortunately, this has also led to companies having to make challenging decisions regarding their money, where their money will go. The, that, these decisions have led to companies, some companies making the choice to lay off employees rather than swallow the cost of the higher wages that were offered when potential recruits were thin. 
This choice has been made in part to preserve profits and also to maintain the quality of merchandise business and American craftsmanship that many of these companies are known for. That's BS. Absolute BS. They're only doing this because they want to keep, you know, they don't want, you know, they want to keep their profits high. And again, this is the title. Woke drama leads Nike to lay off 1,600 employees. All right? Absolutely ridiculous. Nike is the latest casualty. Nike, the massively popular sports brand, is the most recent of these companies to announce layoffs. The announcement comes from CEO John Donahoe, who explained that the performance of the company has not been the best. The CEO took full responsibility for this unfortunate announcement. The decision to downsize the workforce was made due to declining demand for Nike products, which has been driven in part by economic factors such as high rental costs and interest rates. Nike is not the only company to suffer due to the high cost of living that are plaguing Americans right now. High costs due, infl cost due to inflation and the price of materials rising means that many companies have raised the, their prices. Some, inf yeah, it's like, who's going to pay that kind of money for Nike? Like, get the hell out of here. Some company, some inflated items such as gas and groceries are necessities that Americans cannot go without. They're taking the hit to their wallet which can be seen in the increasing levels of credit card debt and personal debt in the country. Unfortunately, these higher levels of debt and lower incomes means that there's less money for luxury items such as Nike sportswear. And this pattern is what has led to the announcement of layoffs at the company, which will total 1,600 employees. This is about 2% of the global workforce of the company and it's and is part of a $2 billion cost-cutting strategy. It is announcement Donahoe said, this is a painful reality and not one to, that I take lightly. We are not currently performing at our best, and I ultimately hold myself and my leadership team, leadership team accountable. He, uh, uh -huh. he continues, Nike has a proud history where the most challenging moments bring out the best in us individually as, and as a team. I know we will come together to respond once again, and I am confident in our future. The first round of layoffs took place on Friday and will continue on through the end of May. The first location hit by the layoffs was Nike's Oregon headquarters. Nike is one of the largest employment employers in the Pacific, Pacific Northwest and has more than 15,500 workers in Portland, Oregon, and, so and Southwest Washington State area alone. And they've seen a massive drop in their stock. So Donahan has been quick to reassure both news and outlets consumers that the layoffs will not impact stores and distribution centers, center employees, customer service is touted. But I mean, guys, people are sick of this crap. All right. People are saying Nike stop, stock actually dipped approximately 10% in December. That's a massive drop after the announcement of cost cutting, cost cutting cost eared, leading to many questioning, questioning the future of the sports brand. And, you know, they said that, you know, many, uh, they said, you know, former employees are supporting each other through the hard time. You know, Tiger Woods leaving Nike. The news of layoffs comes in the wake of news that professional golfer Tiger Woods has also, is also ending his 27 year contract with Nike. That's terrible. The golfing giant made the decision in order to launch his own line as, but that's damn, they lost Tiger Woods, y'all. They lost Tiger Woods as Panafillo implied is a common practice for ex-employees and clients of Nike. The loss of a high-profile client such as Tiger Woods could be one of the reasons that Nike has been seeing the dip in sales and profits in what has been uh, profits that it has been recording. And likely, though, it's a pattern that is part of a bigger economic problem that companies are currently seeing through the reduction in wholesale prices. So you have to understand that these companies these companies made this decision. You know, they chose to go woke and now they are going broke. They chose to prioritize, you know, they chose to roll along with the lunatics. They chose to give the lunatics, you know, a platform to stand on. And this is these are the results. Now, keep in mind, hyper woke company policies are also a big part of this issue. So... This is the piece that we've been talking, we've been looking at, right? And it's 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 a very serious and unfortunate situation. 
There are some who have also theorized that the profit dip for Nike is due to the company's hyper-woke policies that have been implemented in the last several years. Conservative pundits have looked at the sportswear brand's marketing and brand partnership choices and accused the company of going woke. One of the choices that was particularly lambasted was by was by the pub by the public was the decision to partner with uh, social media personality Dylan, you know, Mr. Mulvaney, the, the uh, lady of the hour. Nike signed Mulvaney in April of 2023 under a contract to model sports bras and leggings, a choice that was heavily discussed by conservative media personalities and consumers across the country. Very interesting, guys. You know, and other sports companies are suffering as well. But you have to think about that, guys. Like, this is the decision. This is the this is the outcome of choosing to go woke. And you can, and it's amazing because it's like they don't learn their lesson. You know, we saw what happened with Budweiser. Budweiser lost tens of billions of dollars. How crazy do tens of billions of dollars? And they don't care. And then what does what does Nike do? Nike's go, we want some of that. We want some of that. Guys, it is a mind virus that is going around. If the companies are willing to lose billions of dollars, and even after losing billions of dollars, they double down. They, these, companies are re- these companies are ready to, to basically end their existence. Like they will, they will keep on going. Like Disney will just keep on pushing woke until Disney completely either they either they force everyone to accept woke wokeism. Or they basically don't exist anymore. They have to be sold and go into bankruptcy. Like it's it's very very clear. They will not stop because the the mind virus has gone too deep. It's gone too far. Guys, just want to remind you, I have a channel called Angry where I discuss gaming, anime, geek stuff, nerd stuff, real world stuff, and whatever else interests me. There's a link to it in the description of the video. Go and check it out. Subscribe to it and support my work. There's also another channel that I have called Men Walking Away where I post more videos like the one you're watching now. So if you're enjoying this video and other content on this channel, then you can go over to Men Walking Away for even more content like this. And links to Men Walking Away and Angry are both linked in the description of the video. So go subscribe to the channel, support my work. What do you guys think about this? Women are losing their jobs as woke companies go broke. I mean, it should be no surprise, especially with AI. You know, it's things are looking very hard for women in today's economy, and it's only going to get more difficult. And I warned about this years ago that all of these luxurious nine to five jobs were going to be disappearing soon. And I showed you guys that they're also rolling out a van that delivers food to you. So basically, you know, you you can buy candy, you can buy whatever from the van just using your phone. You can pick up it, it'll deliver your food to you. So you just walk to the curb, pick up your food at the curb. And that's it. You know, you don't have to interact with a person. So, you know, so this is, I mean, it, it's a complete game changer. You know, McDonald's, all of these restaurants, they no longer, you know, they're going to be, t- they're going to be rolling it out in a couple of states and then hopefully it will expand much further. And I, I guarantee you that all of these losers, the, the, uh, all of these de- food delivery drivers, DoorDash losers, Uber Eats losers, Instacart losers will be protesting in the streets over these machines, over these, over these, these, these things, because they're going to be taking their jobs away and they're going to be much more efficient. They can go, they have like a range of 100 miles, but if you're just driving, if it's just driving around an area, that's more than enough, you know, to drop off food and then come back and pick it up. That's more than enough. And these are, because they're all electric. They're all electric. All right. So using this is going to save these companies a lot of money. And I, I and I predicted this. You know, it was a long time coming. You know, the the uh, you know the companies, the employees will just basically load the food into the into the uh, compartments. No need for a DoorDash or any of these idiots anymore. And it'll bring your food to you. It'll tell you that it's downstairs. You'll go downstairs. You'll walk to the damn curb. You'll take your food. Everything is done through your phone. It detects that it's you. It, you know, because it's all connected. It detects that you're the one standing there. Compartment opens up. You grab your food. You grab, and, and, you know, you can even buy candy. You don't even, and you just, it has cameras monitoring everything. So you can buy whatever you want, like any extra stuff there. Maybe even drinks. And you just grab what you want, take it, 
everything get, again gets charged charged directly. It's done through your phone. You walk away and you never have to interact with a person at all. And that's just amazing. And there's no driver. There's no driver. And this is and that's the future. And it's going to save so much money. So all of those idiots that are like, oh, we want $30 an hour, we want $60 an hour to deliver food. Yeah, you guys can go to hell. You know, good riddance to you. Your futures are tent cities and prison cities. You know, this is America. You know, this is people aren't going to tolerate it forever. These are pests. These 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 people are pests. What do you guys think about all of this? This this what's happening around us? You know, these woke companies are going broke. I want to hear your thoughts on this. So let's talk about it in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA. Better walking away. And cheers.